Choctaw County is a county of the U.S. state of Alabama. As of the 2010 census, the population was 13,859. The county seat is Butler. The county was established on December 29, 1847 and named for the Choctaw Tribe of American Indians. History Most of the early pioneers of Choctaw County were farmers from North and South Carolina. In 1912, the Alabama, Tennessee, and Northern Railroad was completed through the county from north to south, connecting the area to the Port of Mobile and Northern Alabama. It induced a population shift from areas near the Tombigbee River to the central part of the county. The county's population reached its peak in the 1920s, due in part from jobs created by a sawmill boom with companies as the E. E. Jackson Lumber Company and Choctaw Lumber Company. The sawmill industry collapsed during the Great Depression. The first successful oil well in Alabama was drilled at Gilbertown in 1944, with oil and gas becoming the county's most important industry. This industry waned by the 1970s as the wells lost profitability. An African American family, the Thorntons of Mobile, was featured in the September 24, 1956, issue of Life magazine. The article included an interview with the Thorntons' daughter, Allie Lee Causey, of Shady Grove in Choctaw County. In the article, Mrs. Causey, a schoolteacher, spoke openly about her family's life, stating that, "...integration is the only way in which Negroes will receive justice. We cannot get it as a separate people. If we can get justice on our jobs, and equal pay, then we'll be able to afford better homes and good education." When the magazine was seen in Choctaw County, the Causeys were subjected to brutal economic retaliation by white residents, who tried to coerce Mrs. Causey into recanting her remarks. Their loans were called in, local stores refused to sell them food and gasoline, Willie Causey was cut off from his employment as a woodcutter, and Mrs. Causey was fired from her job as a teacher. The Causeys left Shady Grove and Alabama for good in October 1956. Apparel factories opened during the 1950s to 60s in Silas, Toxy, and Butler, although the plants had largely closed by the 21st century. The 1950s also saw the building a paper mill at Nahiola, now owned and operated by Georgia Pacific. The county was declared a disaster area in September 1979, due to damage from Hurricane Frederick. The 1980s saw the main railroad close and the tracks removed. <laughs> Historic sites Choctaw County has one site listed on the National Register of Historic Places, the Mount Sterling Methodist Church. Additionally, five sites are listed on the Alabama Register of Landmarks and Heritage. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Geography According to the U.S. Census Bureau, the county has a total area of 921 square miles 2,390 square kilometers, of which 914 square miles 2,370 square kilometers is land and 7.4 square miles 19 square kilometers 0.8% is water. topic major highways US highway 84 state route 10 state route 17 state route 114 state route 156 topic adjacent counties 
Sumter County, North Marengo County, Northeast Clark County, Southeast Washington County, South Wayne County, Mississippi, Southwest Clark County, Mississippi, West Lauderdale County, Mississippi, Northwest Topic National Protected Area Choctaw National Wildlife Refuge Topic Demographics As of the 2010 United States Census, there were 13,859 people residing in the county. 55.8% were white, 43.4% black or African American, 0.1% Native American, 0.1% Asian, 0.2% of some other race and 0.4% of two or more races. 0.5% were Hispanic or Latino of any race. As of the census of 2000, there were 15,922 people, 6,363 households, and 4,574 families residing in the county. The population density was 17 people per square mile, 7 per square kilometers. There were 7839 housing units at an average density of 9 per square miles, 3 per square kilometers. The racial makeup of the county was 55.14% white, 44.13% black or African American, 0.16% Native American, 0.04% Asian, 0.11% from other races, and 0.42% from two or more races. 0.67% of the population were Hispanic or Latino of any race. There were 6,363 households out of which 32.50% had children under the age of 18 living with them, 52.00% were married couples living together, 16.00% had a female householder with no husband present, and 28.10% were non-families, 26.50% of all households were made up of individuals individuals and 11.60% had someone living alone who was 65 years of age or older. The average household size was 2.48 and the average family size was 2.99. In the county, the population was spread out with 26.10% under the age of 18. 7.90% from 18 to 24, 26.20% from 25 to 44, 25.20% from 45 to 64, and 14.60% who were 65 years of age or older. The median age was 38 years. For every 100 females there were 88.80 males. For every 100 females age 18 and over, there were 85.40 males. The median income for a household in the county was $24,749, and the median income for a family was $31,870. Males had a median income of $32,316 versus $18,760 for females. The per capita income for the county was $14,635. About 20.70% of families and 24.50% of the population were below the poverty line, including 34.80% of those under age 18 and 26.10% of those age 65 or over. Government <laughs> 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 
Topic: Communities. Topic: Towns. Butler County seat. Gilbertown. Lisman. Needham. Pennington. Silas. Toxie. Topic: Census designated place. Cullenberg, partly in Washington County. Topic: Unincorporated communities. Topic: See also. National Register of Historic Places listings in Choctaw County, Alabama Properties on the Alabama Register of Landmarks and Heritage in Choctaw County, Alabama <laughs> <laughs>